Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how you're going to make 18650 battery packs using old, different brand, different capacity cells and how you're going to make them nicely balanced and match together using this awesome device. Now before we go into the, to the device, let's talk about the three major uh, thing if you want to planning to make any battery pack, especially the lithium battery pack. The first one is the voltage, the capacity and the impedance or the resistance of the cells. The first voltage you can clearly and easily check with any kind of volt voltmeter, so there is no big deal about it. The capacity, you can measure this uh, cell's capacity by using this kind of uh, battery charger or battery tester and you can uh, cycle these cells charge and discharge and this device will show you what is the capacity of these cells but the problem is now we are facing is how we're gonna know that the battery re resistance or the battery impedance into these cells are the same as all other cells and how we're gonna match them correctly now the problem is with this kind of device that it can show you uh, the precise uh, resistance of these batteries. I've been, I have a couple of these uh, uh, charger and all of them showing uh, different values so I have no idea which one is uh, is uh, correctly and the problem is if you take in the same battery and if you put it, if you put for example the slot one it's gonna show you some value and if you put to the four slot it's gonna show you some next value so practically the same battery showing every time different values. So I cannot trust this device. We need something more precise to find the resistance of, the, of these batteries. So um, what if you don't look for the resistance? What's going to happen? For example, uh, these uh, 13 cells represent the 13 aspect, which is a 48 nominal or a 54.6 maximal voltage. So practically, uh, how you make uh, this, uh, these packs, uh, you put the 13 cells uh, into the cellular connection and you put a bunch of these cells into the parallel and you eventually uh, end it with uh, one huge battery packs, for example, like this. That is almost done. And the idea is that you can use this type of board. This is a BMS for the 13 cells uh, battery packs and uh, this device should, in theory, um, protect these cells from overcharging, overdischarging, uh, as well it should balance uh, those cells. But the problem with the balancing the cells, uh, this, this BMS or this device should not be used with the old cells because it has ridiculously small uh, balancing uh, um, current and that is lower than 100 milliamps and that is ridiculously small number so if you take this BMS or any kind of other BMS and you connect to your battery pack uh, and you try to use them like that this BMS will never balance these cells especially with that less than 100 milliamp current with the balancing function so you're gonna end up very fast with unbalanced uh, pack and that will result failure eventually failure of the whole battery. So we need to find a way how we can know uh, the impedance or the resistance into this battery so we can get them nicely matched. And the answer to our problem is this device. This is SM8124. This is a battery tester or the battery internal resistance tester which can show us very easily what is the resistance of any of those batteries so we can get them nicely matched together. This device can also show you the voltage or the impedance or the resistance of the nickel metal hydride, lithium ion batteries or lead acid batteries. So it's a very useful device and can even show you the voltage. If you buy this product you're gonna get this nice case here as well and this battery that you put inside of this little device. You just take this this case off. So, my ended up with a bunch of uh, Chinese uh, manual and of course I don't talk Chinese so uh, what I did is I, I used Google Translate and I print out this uh, manual. So if you wanna 
see what it contains. Here it is. Alright, so this device can use up to 100 volt. The measure accuracy is uh, 1%. and the measurement accuracy of the resistance is 3% accuracy, which is pretty good. So the way how we're gonna see the internal resistance of the batteries is that you slide this to the middle, to the ohm, or milliohm in this case, and because this uh, battery is over 2 volts, we can use this middle, middle selector. So the idea how is this work, you, you take this probe and you easily just put into the battery and you hold it right there and here we can see the internal resistance. So you can see it's 85. If you look to another one, you see this is 60. So 10 seconds and we already know that these two batteries cannot be matched together. If we go to the next one, this is 61. All right. So, so actually, these two batteries can be matched together. And if we continue, we can look all of these batteries. So if we look to all of these batteries, we can easily find which one battery can be matched together to the next one. So it's a very useful device. For example, if we take the brand new one, high drain uh, VTC4 batteries, for example. I can show you that this battery has different resistance as well. Should, so check it out. Only 16 milliohm. You see, that's a brand new cell and the old cell. Look at this one. 100 and now we wait a little bit. Look at this one. 87. And this is like, what was it, a 15? So huge difference there. Huge difference between the new cell and the old cell. So this device can save us a lot of time if you're planning to make any kind of battery packs, especially with, with this uh, 18650s. So I think it's very important that everybody knows that and um, I saw almost nobody talking about uh, resistance of this battery which is very very important if we uh, if you want to make uh, the battery pack. So the idea is that you test these cells first to the voltage then with the capacity and turn with the resistance and then you match them closely with internal resistance number and you're gonna have the perfectly balanced pack and you're gonna have never problem and your pack will stay nice and balanced through the whole life of these cells. So this device is practically must to have if you're planning to make any kind of battery pack especially with the 18650 cells but of course you can look other battery chemistry as well especially uh, lead acid batteries. So the, this device can show you that as well. Especially is very useful because it can show you easily the voltage as well. You see? So practically if you look right there 4.15, 4.15 you see the the capacity pretty much the same and I say okay these cells will work nice but if you measure the resistance of these two cells you can find that both of the cells has different resistance and it's going to be very hard to balance those two cells only by using this BMS. So guys, if you're planning to make any kind of uh, battery pack, use this device and check the battery resistance and your cells are going to be the perfectly balanced and in a very good health for the very very long time. And you can save a lot of money by not buying those uh, new cells for for your e-bike for example so if you find this video useful please thumbs up and subscribe and I'm gonna catch you next time take care and bye bye